Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most boringest fish in the history of boring ass fishes. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. This dude got a fish channel. He's over here talking, talking smack about a fish. But I gotta be honest with you, 100% honest with you. Um, this fish that I got in that little nano tank right there um, is is just I, I I regret getting them. I regret getting them. Um, I'm gonna tell you the story about them. But for those of you who were ever thinking about getting the pea puffers. Hmm. Uh, I don't. Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. So I got these. I got these. Um, these pea puffers, totally uh, impulse buy. They was three for nine ninety nine. And I was like, you know what? I had that little, that little tank up there. Um, and uh, it was actually a bigger one. It was like a five gallon. Um, but the five gallon sprung a leak. So now it's in a two and a half gallon, but it don't really matter because they're boring. I, I guess I could have put them in a cup of water and it would have been the same effect. I don't know. Up until this point, it's been about two weeks now. Um, and these little pea puffers uh, don't do squat. Nah, nah, I read up on them a little bit. Um, I, I, I don't normally do a whole lot of um, research, 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 like deep, deep dives on on fish before i get because i like to make my own um assessments you know what i mean i do um go to care sheets um but but as far as like really really getting into the deep dive in these i don't normally do that i do my own thing so um i had this little tank up there and i did a live stream one time and i was like what should i put in there i don't want to put something different um I didn't want a beta. Um, I'm not a big nano tank guy, so you know I was like, well, if I can't put a beta in there, what else is it? Somebody suggested to put some bad badasses in there, which I call badasses, scarlet badasses, and I wish I would have. I really wish I would have. It's just these came across. They, like I said, ten bucks for three of them. It's kind of a no-brainer. It was a five-gallon, sprung a leak. Now it's in a two and a half gallon, and I bought three of them. One of them didn't make it. Or it could be hiding there. I don't know. Um, I have a lot of snails in there, um, ram's horn snails. So if it did die, those ram's horn snails would have cleaned it up real, real, real quick. But here's the problem: you get a lot of people doing videos on a species spotlight, and this is not necessarily a species spotlight. This is my personal experience with these fish over the course of about two, a little over two weeks. They do species spotlights and they tell you this fish is great and this is the best thing that you could have. It's fantastic. I love the fish. It's my new favorite fish. It's pretty much all 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 these types of videos. But I, I, I can't lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna follow the script um, of everything being rainbows and cotton candy. If you ever thought of getting pea puffers, just know you watched a video on Aquafunk's Funk's channel and he said they were boring as hell. Normally, I would be closer to the tank so you can be like, look at this, and look at the dude in, look at this. I'm gonna have to do B-roll um, because it, you're not gonna see nothing. You know what I mean? Look up there, you don't see nothing. I see one and it's like, Literally, I don't see it. I, I tried feeding them blood worms. They're not eating the blood worms. I know they're eating because I see ram's horn snails in there that are the shells are empty and their bellies are fat. Like I said, I only see two of them. If there's another one, it's way in the back somewhere, but I haven't seen that thing in a long time. So I've only ever really seen two over the last week so far. And I got plenty of ram's horn snails, and so I'm not worried about you know them being hungry because like i said their bellies are fat hopefully in a b-roll it shows you um i got the temperature at let me see that's 82 that's, that's 79 degrees um i have a, a sponge that's rated for like a 10 gallon that's in there um i got i got um um 
the, what's those um, Anubius plants. I got three of those. I got a Java fern in there, and I have the Pothos um, eating up all that nitrate. So I'm I'm not worried about the water quality. I'm not worried about them not having places to hide. I'm not worried about them. I'm not worried about any of that stuff. I'm assuming that with all those things taken care of, that they would be more active. And they're not. They're not active at all. In fact, at the pet store, um, they were in a bare bottom, bare tank. Um, and they seem to be more lively. Now, there's only two reasons for that. One, they didn't have no place to hide, so they had no choice but to be out in the open. Or two, there was more of them. But from what I understand, they're kind of pricks to each other. So, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I, I came across it. Now, check this, check this. In that, at that pet store, they did have a really good deal on a figure eight puffer. It was like this big, which I've never seen a figure eight puffer that big. And I really was tempted to get it. I think it was like $20 or something like that. Um, but I wanted more than one. They only had one figure eight puffer that big. Um, so, and the tank, of course, was a little, you know, a five gallon for a figure eight puffer. I thought was a little bit, nah. So I was like, yo, I do the pee puffers and I gotta tell you people, I'm not happy, I'm not pleased. I'm not um, inspired to do a video on telling you how great they are. And I'm sure this video, in fact, I might, I might after I'm done with this video, I might watch other videos um, on these things to see if people are having different um, experiences with them. I'm curious to know if you've had these fish, do you have different experience with them? I, I'm not doing as many videos as um, I used to. So so you guys are gonna have to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Cause when I do do a video, I gotta admit, I'm a little bit jaded um, with YouTube. So you're gonna see a difference in the videos that I put out thus far. You're still gonna get this energy. You're still gonna get, you know, this flavor. But I'm not following the script of everything is great. Every fish is beautiful. I, I'm not. I'm not. I should have got the. I, you know, at one point I used to think that goldfish were the most boringest fish you could ever get. You know those 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 fancy goldfish look like um, golf balls with um, tassels on them. I gotta admit, I, I almost wish I would have got those. But of course, I was I was um, limited to the five gallon. But don't. If you get pea puffers because you think they're so cute and so small and all that, I haven't even seen them eat. Because when I walk up to the tank, they're all booked. You're not going to get a whole lot of action. You, you will get the satisfaction of saying, I have pea puffers in a nano tank. Maybe, maybe you in a bigger tank with more, you'll have a different outcome. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I know. If you plan on putting pea puffers in a little a nano tank, you're going to be disappointed if you like interacting with your fish or watching them do anything. Big dummy! <laughs>